Welcome to Rugby Basics, your number one rugby channel. Before we can go into detail about the scrum, there's a few things you first need to understand. The scrum is just a means of restarting the play when a minor infringement happened or the play has stopped for some reason. So to give an example of a minor infringement, it would be something like a knock-on or a forward pass or an error in a restart, like a kickoff or a 22 or goal line dropout. Any errors there would be a minor infringement, would result in a scrum. The call is crouch, bind, set. The scrum consists out of eight players, which includes all the forwards. The front row consists out of the loose head prop on the left side, the hooker and the tight head prop. Directly behind them are the two locks, the lock pairs. And then finally the loose forwards which consist of the flanks and the eighth man. And finally the ref makes the call, crouch, bind, set. Scrummy chucks the ball in or straight in the middle and the scrum has started. As the front rowers approach the scrum, they should not be more than an arm length apart from each other. The two props then have the option to bind anywhere underneath the armpits or above the hips. The hooker can also bind underneath the armpits, above the hips or on the shoulder blades of the props. After all of the players is bind, the ref will initiate the first call which means crouch. So then you take the crouch position. This just means the head is facing upwards and your eyes are open, ready to scrum. Now the front row's heads must go to the left side of the opponent in front of them starting with the loose head prop. The front row must also make sure that the hips and knees are bent slightly and that the shoulders and is not lower than their hips. Spine in line, so making sure your back is straight. So now the second call is bind, so crouch bind, which means that the props will bind with the outer arms on top of the other props. The loose head prop will always bind underneath the tighter prop on his side or on his back. The tight head prop will always go with his right arm over the, the loose head prop's arm to bind on the loose head prop's back or side. The prop should not grip the other prop on the chest, arm, sleeve or on the collar. Ideally, the position of every player's hips, shoulders and feet should be square, meaning parallel, facing forward. Then finally, the ref will call set, which means that the props and the hooker will lock heads and then wait for the scrum to stabilize before the scrummy can throw the ball in and the team can push their scrum forward. So that's it for now, make sure to watch part 2 where we go into a bit more detail about the rules regarding the scrum.